Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Alam Musbah, professor of obstetrics and gynecology faculty of Medicine Mansoura University. Okay, we have an OSCE in gynecology. Try to answer. Please log to this picture and identify this instrument. Of course, this is casco non fenestrated bivalve self retaining metal vaginal speculum. Two blades, handle, and screw. Okay? okay. Another one, this is different. It is also bivalve metal self retaining vaginal speculum. But there is some difference between this instrument and the previous one. This is called the Gravis. Gravis, non fenestrated, self retaining metal vaginal speculum. Two blades, two screw, not one screw, two screw, and the hand. Okay? Here, there is another screw connected between the lower blades and the handle to allow for better space during manipulation. So if you are doing procedure, needs the instruments and needs the space, Gravis is a better choice than Casco. So both of them nearly has the same indication, but for better exposure, you can use Gravis. Okay? So the previous picture, Please notice the difference. This is this is the casco speculum. Only one screw. The upper plate and the lower plate equal in size. Okay. What about Gravis? Gravis. The upper plate is shorter than the lower plate, as you see here. The upper plate is shorter. Also, it has two screw. Not one screw as is casco. So Gravis has two screw, and the upper plate is shorter than the lower plate. Okay, let us go to the next. What is the indication of this self-retaining nickel vaginal speculum? Okay, it is used to expose the cervix, mainly the cervix, and the vaginal wall, and the vaginal wall during examination but mainly the cervix, okay? Also, it allows the application of local instruments, the cervix, or obtaining swabs or smear swabs for infection, cotton tip swab, or cervical smear for screening for cervical carcinoma, okay? So I need to use this self-retaining vaginal speculum to do this procedure. Also, it allows introduction of trine sound, insertion of IUD, the trine device. Also, it's important to use this self-retaining vaginal speculum before hysterosalpingography. Also, when you are trying to take premenstrual endometrial biopsy or endometrial biopsy for abnormally trine bleeding. Okay. okay, so this is, these are some indications for use of the metal self-retaining vaginal speculum, whatever casco or gravis speculum, and now we know the difference between both. What is the advantage of this bivalve metal self-retaining vaginal speculum, casco and the gravis? Simple application without anesthesia. I don't need any anesthesia when I, I use speculum, self-retaining vaginal speculum, like casco graves, okay? Being self-retaining is advantage because I need no assistance, okay? Because it is self-retaining. The availability of different sizes, small, medium, large, there is three or four sizes to accommodate different vaginal size, okay? So, another advantage. What is its advantage? Maybe in some women, they may feel little discomfort during insertion, especially in nullipop. 
it hides the anterior and the posterior vaginal world by the plates. This is another disadvantage. Also, it doesn't offer complete protection of the vaginal walls during cauterization of the cervix. This is another disadvantage. Okay, go to the next, please. Identify this instrument in the picture. What is this instrument? This is Sam's vaginal speculum. Sam's vaginal speculum. Okay, what is the indication? of Sam's vaginal speculum, the diagnosis and the operative repair of the vaginal fistula because it gives me a better exposure to the anterior vaginal wall. Okay, I do retraction to the posterior vaginal wall using the Sam's speculum so I can see anterior vaginal wall very well. Okay, so either diagnosis and Operative repair of zycovaginal fistula can be achieved using SAMS speculum. Also, it can be used for diagnosis of pelvic organ prolapse, and also it can be used to insert a vaginal pad. Okay, this is the indication for SAMS speculum. Of course, I can use it in SAMS position and in other positions. In case of zycovaginal fistula diagnosis. I use Sam's speculum and Sam's position is a bit. Okay, what is the advantage of Sam's speculum? It gives me good exposure of anterior vaginal wall. Yeah. Provide space during vaginal surgery. Simple application without anesthesia. I don't need anesthesia or while I'm using Sam's speculum for diagnostic reason. Simple application without anesthesia. The presence and availability of different sizes, small, medium, or large, to suit different vaginal sizes. What are the disadvantages of SAMS? Assistance is required, especially when it is used to expose the cervix or during surgical procedures because it is not self-retaining speculum so being not self-retaining speculum so it is a disadvantage okay in the presence of large cyst seal exposure of the cervix is often difficult when you are using some speculum okay let us go to the next identify this instrument in the picture. What is this? This is over self-retaining vaginal speculum. Plate, handle, weight, attach it to weight, to keep it in place. This plate retract the posterior vaginal wall. And this groove allow for passage of blood or discharge washing through it downward through this group okay what is the indication of our speaker can be used in most gynecologic operation as it gives good exposure of anterior vaginal wall and the cervix during operation like what like the MDC, like classical repair for prolapse like anterior vaginal uh, sorry like anterior repair, in case of cystic seal, like vaginal structuring. Also, it is used also in surgical evacuation for abortion. What are the advantages of over the speculum? It is self-retaining, self-retaining by its attached weight. It gives good exposure of the anterior vaginal wall and the cervix during operation. This is another advantage. What are the disadvantage? It may tear, bruise, or overstretch the soft tissue of the perineum and the posterior vaginal wall because of this heavy weight. Okay? Attach it to it. It is difficult to use in nullibara. 
it hides the posterior vaginal wall. Look to the next. Identify the instrument in this picture. This is Sims uterine sound, graded in centimeter. Okay. okay. What is the indication for using the trine sound? Period to procedure to determine the direction of the uterus and the, the lens of the uterus. What are the operations? You may use uh, you tried sounding before, before the NC, before insertion of an IED, for example, to avoid perforation. To differentiate the trine inversion from submucous fibroid, we need the trine sound. Okay? If there is uterine inversion, you can uterine sound cannot go through the cavity because the uterus is inverted. While in submucous fibroid, the sound can pass to the uterine cavity. Also, to differentiate between uterine polyp and cervical polyp, in case of uterine polyp, the sound can go around it, while in cervical polyp, cannot go around it. It determines the relation of the uterus to any pelvic mass to know and differentiate the trine mass from the next cell mass and so on. Also to diagnose cervical stimulus. These are the indications of the trine sound. What are the complications of trine sound? Disturbance of an undiagnosed pregnancy. Perforation of the cervix or body of the uterus, ascending infection, all these are complications of the trine sound. What are the contraindications? Suspicion of pregnancy. If you are suspected, suspecting pregnancy, never to do sound. You try sound because you will disturb this pregnancy. Okay, so contraindication if there is suspicion of pregnancy. Also, in case of soft uterus, like malignancy, infection, or molar pregnancy, because you can perforate the uterus easily, easily, in this soft uterus. Go to the next, please. Look to this picture. What is this shown in the picture? This is Hager uterine dilator. Hager uterine dilator. What are the indications for using Hager dilators? Maybe diagnostic, therapeutic, or as a step in the course of other operations. Diagnostic for cervical incompetence. If Hager 8 busts easily, this indicating cervical incompetence. Also to diagnose intrauterine lesions and septa. Superior to hysterosalpingography in certain cases with narrow cervical os, you may need Hegel dilator to dilate the cell. To diagnose spasmodic dysmenorrhea. Also, therapeutic indi indications like cervical stenosis, like dysmenorrhea, like drainage of hematometra or biometra, like cervical abortion. Also, as a step in the course of other operation like DNC or evacuation, like father gel operation and the trachylography or amputation of the cervix, like removal of fibroid or an endometrial polyp, before the insertion of certain IUD, also for before removal of certain IUD, you may need a good dilator. In some cases, okay, in some cases. What are the complications of figure dilators? Cervical incompetence and the habitual abortion is a very important complication of uterine Hager dilator. Cervical incompetence and the habitual abortion, perforation of the cervix or body of the uterus, ascending infection like cervicitis, endometritis, serpingitis, laceration of the cervix. An acidic complication because Hager dilator should be used under anesthesia. 
never to use it without anesthesia because this may cause vagal shock. Okay, vagal shock. Contraindication for using Hager dilator active genital infection, not to spread the infection. Also, normally pregnant uterus is contraindicated to use Hager dilator. This is our ASCII today. I hope it is helpful for you. This is my box published on Amazon. You can go to find it. Textbook of obstetric, textbook, gynecology, contraception handbook, multiple choice question book, and the medical disorder in pregnancy and the gynecologic oncology book. This is my site on Amazon as an user. This is my site on YouTube where you can find many other quizzes and lectures and OB guide. This is my scientific site on Blogspot also. Wishing you all the best, everybody. Thank you.